Boundaries are a tricky thing. I was thinking about this last night. I don't know why I was up thinking about it. And don't say anything about my silk scarf. My hair is baking. But anyways, um, well, no, it's not baking, baking. It's like I did it and I kind of don't want it to drip anywhere. And I also kind of like the laid down, like, look. Anyways, why am I explaining all of this? We're talking about boundaries. Um, For some reason, I was up thinking about this last night because I, I haven't had, like, any run-ins with guys and by run-ins, I mean like flirting or anything like that. I think since 2020, there was a guy for like a minute. He wasn't, he didn't even last a full week that like I tried to flirt with a little and then he was like, I'm not interested. And so it was, it was whatever after that. Couldn't do anything after that. But genuinely, genuinely, like I haven't really gotten to know a guy held hands, kissed, touched, hugged, like had a full conversation with that lasted more than a week or anything with the guy since like 2020. And um, last night I was kind of scrolling through TikTok and I was looking at all these videos where these girls were talking about just like, like how guys have treated them and like what they've gone through with men and how on the internet it's really hard to be a black woman and be a confident black woman because of how men will act with you and like this, that, and the third. And I had thought back to like when I first was like, not first was starting my page, but like when I kind of branched away from doing a bunch of like anime based TikToks and started actually trying to like talk about my experiences and be a little bit more real and relatable on my page. Um, I opened up about a lot of things that now looking back, I regret doing because I shouldn't have let a bunch of strangers on TikTok have that much access to me. But what's done is done. The videos are up. I don't I don't hide away from anything I've experienced or anything I've gone through in my life. So what's said is said. But at the same time, opening up that door of talking about your experiences, talking about how you had to gain confidence or like this, that, and the third also gave people the opportunity to violate your boundaries. And um, I was just kind of thinking about that girl, Lip Gloss, if you guys know that talked about her hair and how men actually like took her pictures and made dating profiles off of them. And I remember thinking like, that is such a violation of her boundaries. Like you did not get her consent to do any of this. Like you are, you are in like, I, like I couldn't believe how crazy that was to me. Um, and then I kind of thought about other men that have violated my boundaries back then. And like, why, if you talk to a bunch of men from my past, they would probably say I'm so angry. And I kind of wanted to figure out the root of this. And trust me, all this will tie together. But I just kind of wanted to think about the root of why I get so angry when guys do like, like when the first sign of them doing something that like is so, so rude or like a violation of my boundaries makes me like turn right back around and walk out the door. And I get and, and like as, like as the night went on, I kept thinking about it. I thought back to the most recent time that I had to like set a boundary with my father. And um, this wasn't like don't get me wrong. I'm gonna talk about it, but don't think that it was recent. It was like months ago. It wasn't recent, but um, in my family and in a lot of black families, like hitting your child on the butt is not really a big deal. It's not something sexual. It's something very playful, something just like tap and whatever. And I've experienced it from like my mom and dad and other family members growing up. So like getting a, a, a playful hit on the butt didn't really mean anything to me. And, you know, I think as I think when I got like maybe 17 is when I know what is when it kind of really did like a dead stop. Like even kind of before that, it like I think the only person who would occasionally hit me on my butt, like occasionally, like very rarely, like once every red moon was maybe my mom. And she was like, good job. But like that was so rare that she did that. So I don't know when it really stopped. Maybe when I was like 14. I don't know. But it kind of stopped early. So now that I'm living back with my parents, you know, I'm kind of back in this position where it's like I'm living with my mommy and daddy and I'm like their kid and whatever, whatnot. And um, a few months ago, my father was walking up the stairs and I was standing up there and he like playfully hit me on my butt. And 
as a 22 year old girl I just well no I was 21 at the time as a 21 year old girl I just felt like I was like too old for that like it's not that it felt creepy from him it just made it just reminded me how like my family members will do that to me and how that's not acceptable to me anymore because I just grew out of that like as 21 I don't want to be hit on the butt and um I, 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 I went to my father and I was like, hey, could I talk to you for a second? He was like, yeah. And he was in his room and I just sat on the bed with him and I was like, you know, I know when you came upstairs, you hit me on the butt playfully. And I know that you've done that for a while. You know, you and mom and, and, and my cousins and aunts and uncles, whatever. But like, I just feel like I'm too old for that. And I just would like it if that would be the last time. And he was like, OK, got you. And he has not done it since. He hasn't made no mistakes, no slip ups, no nothing like that was the one conversation where I put up a boundary and he was like, all right. And so that made me think back to like other conversations with my father and how, you know, every time like like my therapist would always ask me, like, why does it seem like you always get it into get into it with your mother more than your father? And I couldn't really understand why until last night where I was like, it's because my father never violates my boundaries. I don't, I just never gotten that from him. Even even unspoken boundaries that he kind of observes me and see. Like, for instance, like to um to knock on my door before you come in or the fact that like um like I like to be in charge of how the house smells. I like to go to Bath and Body Works and get the wall plug ins. And every time they run out, I like to be the one to go to Bath and Body Works and spend like an hour there trying to sniff different smells and like figure out what the best smell for the house is and what rep and what feels like represents our family like as a smell. I know it doesn't make any sense, but hear me out. So he knows that like when the wall plug ins run out, he's not going to go to the store and, and he's not going to go to Bath and Body Works and go pick them up. Even when he's like, oh, they really need to be like replaced. He knows that's my thing. And so... I don't know like like and he doesn't step on my toes because he knows there's something I like he's like hey I respect that that's your thing that's like something you want to do so I thought about with men you know think about growing up and you have this father that just like immediately respects your boundaries no questions asked. he's not gonna fight you on it he's not gonna ask you questions about it he doesn't even do any slip-ups because some people will set boundaries and then somebody will violate that boundary and then they'll be like you know oh I'm sorry I'm so used to doing this that like you know I slipped up none of that with my dad none of it once you tell him something that is it and so just think about experiencing that for your whole life. Like a no questions asked. I respect your boundaries. Even some boundaries that you've never said out loud. I have just gotten them. We're good. Think about like experiencing that your entire life only to go out into the real world. And then you find and then almost every single man that you've come in contact with has violated your boundaries. It, it, like some, if not all, you know, have uh, your boundaries. And you just got to sit there and like be okay with it. You either got to be okay with it, get you, try to get yourself out the situation or fight them on it. You have three options to either sit silent, um, uh, either sit silent and don't say anything. Well, what do I do when, when my boundaries get violated? Yeah, you can either sit silent and just, and just let them walk all over you, walk away from them or um, yell at them. And I guess because I wasn't used to guys violating my boundary or a man violating my boundary, I would lash out on them. Like, how dare you do this to me? How dare you do this? My father doesn't do this to me. And they would always hit me with, well, I ain't your damn daddy. And it's like, well, you're not. But like, that's why I say it's so important for people to have like a certain standard. And I'm not saying that my father is the standard because, oh my gosh, like, I love my dad, but like, I could never, no, like, my dad has a great personality, but like he gets upset when you he gets like really upset if you like he has these knives and you can only hand wash them. He gets really upset if you put them in the dishwasher like no. But anyways, my dad is not necessarily my standard, but he's a but he's a good bit of the blueprint. And the the, the biggest chunk of that blueprint is the is the boundaries part of it. And um to experience your whole life to, to go through your through most of your life you know with a guy who, who with a man who just like 
100% respects your boundaries only to go out into the world and then almost every guy you meet disrespects them. It's like a very traumatic thing to go through. And you get angry and you get mad and you get loud because you're like, I mean, it's like you, you, you have experienced it in a way where it's so simple. You know what I mean? Like you've experienced telling somebody your boundary, them respecting it. And then you, and then you move the fuck on and then you, and then that boundary never gets violated. Like I've experienced it going so easy. I, I never experienced having to fight somebody to like respect a boundary or, or having talk after talk after talk about the same thing so that they would respect my boundary. Like I never had to deal with that. And so to go out and I have to fight these guys to respect my boundaries, to listen properly to me when I'm explaining something, to not repeat the same, um, not repeat the 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 mistake or repeat um violating my boundary over and over again. It was a very traumatic experience. It was like a huge slap in the face. It felt like everything my father laid the groundwork on, every single guy I met had a tool to try to break it apart. And that was very disappointing. And so it always gets on my nerves when like older women um, that I talk to are always asking me about dating and if I'm going to date and how I feel about dating. And it's like, you don't understand like how traumatized I am from dating. And you don't understand how like the biggest root of that is the violation of my boundaries. Like the way you talk to me, the way you move with me, the way you touch me, the anything like the fact that like since I've gone out in the real world, every single guy has it's like it seems like it's been his personal mission to like fuck that up. It's it's terrible. And I think that's why it's been since like 2020 since I've genuinely tried with a guy like I've I've like DM some guys and flirted before. But like if they try to make it a conversation, I don't even engage. And the only reason I flirt was to see if I still got it. But like, um. Other than that, I don't try to engage with guys because I'm so traumatized from like the the lack of respect with boundaries that like I just can't do it. And I think living with my parents has kind of reminded me. I think at some point I did let go of holding on to my boundaries. I think at some point I felt like the only way to be able to ex- to coexist with these men is to be able to let them violate your boundaries. But living with my parents has made it has made it all come back again. It's made it worse because, you know, I'm back in this situation living with this guy. I know he's my dad, but whatever. He's a man living with this man who respects my boundaries. One hundred and fifty thousand percent. And so it's so, you know, of course, it's frightening to have to, like, become used to that again and then have to go back in the world and then experience you know telling a guy hey I don't want you to touch me like that and they'd be like why not like don't you like that and then you're just like bitch why you couldn't just say yes and move the fuck on you know what I mean so I don't know I think like I think it's just gonna like I'm gonna hold on to my boundaries of course I think it's just gonna be a no tolerance thing I think I just gotta keep doing the trial and error of like explaining a boundary and if they violate it then they fuck them own selves up with me like by peace and just keep it moving because I think at this point I need somebody like my dad and not like his personality I mean but like how he how he respects my boundaries like I need somebody like that because I don't I I, I rarely ever argue with my dad and I wonder why I would always butt heads with these guys and I think I know why now I think it's genuinely because of the the lack of respect and in, in, in the lack of respect of my boundaries and so um I don't know like I think I need a guy who's going to not make me explain and not make me go into it and just like 100% just get it you know what I mean so if anybody watching this video knows truly inside of them that like their boundaries have been disrespected and, and so much to the point that they like are so passive with things where they genuinely or, or now you're looking at it and you're like, when did I let them go? When did I let my boundaries go because I want human interaction or I want these people to like come back around? Like really think about that because trust and believe like when I went to college, that had to be the most that my boundaries had been disrespected and challenged and all this other stuff. And when I, and I think when I was in my last year of college is when I realized like, oh my God, who am I? Like, when did I start becoming this passive girl? Like, this ain't even me. And that's when I became angry. And like I said, like every guy, like the moment they would even like 
step a smidge out of line, I would be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, like, never let go of your boundaries. And this is for guys and girls because I don't. I think a big conversation that we need to have that I feel like a, a good chunk of women have tried to have um, is the fact that, like, men get their boundaries violated, I think, sometimes easier than women. You know, um, at a party, you know, when we, when we, if, if, if girls leave a party, they can be like, you know, oh, this guy was trying to touch on my shoulder and whatever else. Like they'll tell their girlfriends and of course their girlfriends will instantly be like, what the fuck? And then if they get online and talk about the story, you know, people will be like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened with you. But I think a lot of times if men leave a party, they will be groped on their booty, on their, on their penis, on their chest, on their shoulders and everything. And they won't even think to tell anybody because it's like a man thing, like, of course, I'm going to get touched like that. And I should be happy that women are touching me like that, even though their boundaries have been violated. They're so used to, to, to being to being told that you should be proud that a woman is touching you sexually, that they don't even think that their boundaries are getting violated. They don't even think to tell anybody. Um, but that's a whole nother time for a whole nother day. But anyway, this room, uh, men and women and non-binary um, and trans and anybody, whatever you and, and whatever um, you classify as this is for you to reevaluate your boundaries reestablish your boundaries and never let anybody take a tool and break them down either because fuck them you can find somebody better and yeah don't settle and don't put up with shit just for human interaction because the the quicker you realize that the best human that you'll ever know is yourself everybody else will look like shit